Aaron, thank you. We are helping protect your family this morning. A warning coming from just down the thruway for snowmobilers. Take a look at these photos. Gates Fire Crews, the Rochester Fire Department, state troopers rescuing seven people after ice broke on a pond. One person had to be taken to Strong Memorial Hospital. We don't know that person's condition this morning. And it comes after a week or excuse me, a week after a fatal accident in Mayville. And then this weekend, Coast Guard members rescued 18 snowmobilers on the other end of Lake Erie after a really massive chunk of ice they were on broke off near Sandusky, Ohio. This really highlights how dangerous it all can be. So Taylor Reps is live with us this morning with a few tips if you're heading out on the trails, Taylor. Ed and Katie, snowmobiling has become a way for folks to get out of the house during COVID. But take a look here. The Erie County Sheriff's Office warning people to make sure they're doing it safely and following the rules of the trail. So I caught up with a local snowmobiling club to find out how to stay safe while also having some fun in the snow. I would say right now it's probably going to be the best in the last 10 years. After some winters that weren't ideal for the trails, 2021 was a good ride for snowmobilers, but I'm told 2022 is even better. We were out Martin Luther King Day and everybody was out because we had the snow. It was just incredible. And the fresh snow that fell last week is keeping momentum going for Rich McNamara and the Northern Erie snow seekers. It's been huge. Our membership is up about 25 percent. Sleds, you can't buy a sled right now. They're all sold out already. Which has a huge impact on businesses like Jansen Motorsports and Elma. Employees tell me a lot of things are sold out and manufacturers tell them they need to put orders in by March 1st in order to have sleds for next year. But as more people head to the trails, McNamara says it's important to remind people to ride safely. Uh, control your speed to the conditions. I mean, all the trails are marked, they're staked, stay between the stakes, stop at the road crossings, and don't drink and drive. According to the New York State Snowmobile Association, one in three fatal snowmobile accidents involve alcohol, but the number one cause of death is unsafe speed. And as more snow comes, McNamara will be out there driving this, leaving it safe and clear. Our club has 125 miles of trail. We're all grooming every day, it's just almost 24-7 when there's snow. And so we get to hit every trail every two days. And if you're looking to get into snowmobiling, McNamara says the best way is to join a club. So there's 10 of them in Erie County. There's a couple up in Niagara County. Contact the club. They can help you out. Get everybody gets together and ride uh, out to Letcher State Park or ride out to uh, Allegheny. You know, you can, there's 11,000 miles of trail in New York State. Get involved. So the Northern Erie Snow Seekers had a vintage snowmobile show yesterday out in Akron. They have these events so you can get to know the people, enjoy, and learn how to ride safely out it's there. It's so funny. Did you see that sign? It says, summer sucks. <laughs> They're the only ones that think that. No kidding. <laughs> but that was funny, though. We were all laughing. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. Develop